Almighty God and Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace, which is sufficient unto us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you that we have faithfully carried us through yet another day. And yet through another year. Yes, Lord. You are the best. Please forgive us, my Lord, if we have sinned against you. If we have been selfish. If we hurt you again by our sin. Please forgive us. Please come and cleanse us. With your precious blood, whiter than snow. Please, my Father, I bring myself as an instrument for you to use. Please do so, my mind, my tongue and my lips. Please give us open hearts to receive your word and ears to hear your voice. May your Holy Spirit have its way in this service. We appreciate you, my Father. Amen. We really appreciate you for what you are doing unto us. Yes. We are so undeserving. But you are so loving. We appreciate you. Please let your will be done. I pray in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. My family, I greet you in the I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, please turn with me in your Bibles to John chapter 21. Peter. It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter 
Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fishes coat up to him, unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from the land. I mean, they were not far from land, but as it were two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fishes. As soon then, as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coal, of coals there, and fish laid thereon and bread. Jesus said unto them, Bring up the fish which ye have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fish, and hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. Amen. Thank you, my sister. We up to that. So my favorite, what we are finding here is that Christ is, he, he meets his disciples at the seashore. And the previous night, Simon Peter said that he was going to go out and, and, and get some fish. So they were, they by trade, they were fishermen. Mm-hmm. And so they've been out the whole night and they caught nothing. Came Christ the next morning, came unto them, um, and he told them, cast the net on the right side of the ship and ye shall find. Who of us uh, are familiar with fishing? Brother Howard and Brother Ensby. So the rest of us, we are, we are, we are amateurs, like myself. I, I, I did try with a few friends, but yeah. In comparison with these guys, I'm an amateur. So I'm just thinking, if Christ come to people that are fishermen, by trade, because for me, what he is saying is it is not making sense. How much more unto them? Because in my mind, if Christ come to me and he say, "Cast your net," I've been here for the whole night. I mean, this is not making sense. I've been here the whole night, and I didn't catch anything. Now he's saying, "Take the net." So in my amateur mind, I would say, if I take it, what would be the difference? It is the same order. If I cast it. I can, I, maybe I even have went into a conversation with him. No, my Lord, you know, I tried there and I tried there, I've been here and I've been there. Wrong stories, maybe I would, would have uh, entered into. But what they did, they, 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 they followed his word. They obeyed his word. Sure. And, and this is the situation that we are in, my family. Uh, we need to cast our nets on the right side. We need to be obedient, whatever the Lord, if we move out here, we need to be obedient to what He is bringing on our path. We must, we must move, even if the whole world is moving this direction, we can move against the current. We know that Christ is not in the majority. Yes. So we know the blessing is in obedience unto, unto Him. Whether it is making sense to us, or not. Mm. We must we must trust him and we must obey him. Mm. One reason I normally say I don't really want to like I'm standing here now because every word that comes out of your mouth you're gonna be tested on that. <laughs> so cast your net, take trust Christ, take him at his word, trust in my family. Take the chance. What do we have to lose? Yes. What do we have to lose? In this case, what happened was they trusted him. And fisher, fishermen by trade, the other thing that I can add was in this case is like me and Brother Howard, we, 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 we left our profession. Some of the brothers, there are some, some brothers and sisters that, that are also in, in present truth, but when they step out of their, their jobs, they still have some qualification or degree behind their name. It is almost as if, if something happens. We don't trust Christ fully, completely. As if, if, if something happens, then I still have this thing to fall back on. Mm-hmm. Understand what I'm saying? 
if some of the people, if they step out of their job, then they have a business or a business plan that they can, like, like myself, when I stepped, I was a train driver. And I was driving, um, it was 104 wagons, uh, not a passenger, it was a, a, a goods train. 104 wagons, maybe with three locomotives. The total weight of that train is about 8,200 tons. That was the train that I was driving. And, and in myself, I was called a specialist. That is what they call it. If you, if you, because there is grades as you, as you progress to those grades. But guess what? When I stepped out of that job, I was nothing. I was absolutely nothing. I, I, even as I'm standing here, I'm nothing. I am nothing. I have nothing. I don't have qualifications to fair, fall back on to absolutely nothing. It is Christ and Christ alone. <laughs> so we need to, 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 to trust the my family. What happened in this case? They caught fish. Then in verse 5. They cast therefore and now they were not able, even able to draw the multitude of the fishes that they caught. So that is like one miracle. They were not able. There was a lot of fish. And the second miracle is, although there was such a lot of fish, the net didn't break. And in verse number 11, the word of God says, how many fish did they caught? 133. Can someone tell me? I did share this with a few people. So those that I shared this with must keep quiet. So I want to ask the rest of the congregation, why 153? Why not 50? Why not 70? Why not 21? Or why not just a net full of fish? Why 153? So besides those that I, 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 I told this or shared this with, the rest of the people, does any one of you have a clue or an idea? 153? Do you think he's... Oh, let me just... Okay, none of us know. Do you know, my brother? Okay, so, so, but, but, okay, although we don't know, but do you, do you think this is just by chance? No. Nothing is by chance. Okay, please turn with me in the, uh, to the second book of Kings, chapter 1. Everyone is there? Yes. Se second book of Kings, the first chapter. Can I read? Yes. Then Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ea. And uh, Ahazia, how do you pronounce that? Ahazia. Uh, this is. Ahaziah. 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 Okay, he's the king. So, Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ea, and Ahaziah fell down, fell down through a lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria and was sick. So, this king got sick from this incident that happened. He fell down and then he got sick. And now he is in this sickness. Let me just tell you the story, then I'm going to read. Through, the, through this chapter. The king fell, the king became sick, and he was lying on a sick bed. So on this sick bed, he was worried. He wanted to know, am I going to recover on this bed that I'm lying, or am I going to die? But now, the mistake that he makes is that he sent his messengers to consult the God of Exodus. To hear from the God of Ekron, am I going to recover or am I going to die? Mm. So while this thing is happening, and, and the God of Ekron, we know that there are only two gods. If it is not the true God, then who is it? Yeah. Doesn't matter by which name he comes. Yeah. It is Satan. 
So, so this king is sending his messages to consult the God of Ekron. He's go, he is there consulting Satan. And while these messengers are on their way to consult this God, the angel of the Lord, which is Jesus Christ, appears unto his servant, the prophet, unto Elijah. So Elijah knows nothing about what happened between this king and his servants. And the angel of the Lord comes to Elijah and he makes known this thing to Elijah and he gives a message. And he sent Elijah in their way to stop them and to tell them, Are you consulting the God of Ekron? Because there is no God in Israel. So God was offended by this thing that they, that they were doing. Are you consulting this God? And because you want to know about this sick bed, God tell, told Elijah, you tell him that I, I say, because you consulted the God of Ekron, you're not going to get up from that sick bed, you're going to die. Mm. So let us read. Uh, verse number 3, but the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria. So, so what I'd like to, to bring our attention to is that, you know, there was a, a, a saying that they are, they are actually still using it, especially if you, if you are watching these Western movies. We know these Western movies. If two cowboys come in the way of each other, then they say, when two killers meet, one must die. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a saying that so what is happening in this story is that two kings are going to, to flesh head on head in this story this king of Samaria is going to clash with the angel of the Lord which is the king of kings um, so but this king of kings he was offended because we will see it is not as if they didn't know about it they knew about him, but in spite of knowing him, they still passed him by to consult the king of Edom. But the angel of the Lord said to Elisha, the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say unto him, Is it not because there is not a God in Israel that you go to inquire of Beelzebub, the God of Edom? Now therefore thus saith the Lord, Thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but thou shalt surely die. Mm. And Elijah departed. And when the messengers turned back unto him, he said unto them, Why are you now turned back? So I, 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 I have this picture in my mind. Maybe if it was going to take them three hours to go to the to the board of Ekron, maybe three hours back, make it six hours. But now they are back, maybe in less than an hour. So now the king wants to know, why are you back so quick, or so fast? Then they told the king, no, we met the other man. And that man gave us this message. This is what's going to happen now, yeah. And they, so in verse number five, and when the messenger stood back unto him, he said unto them, why are ye back? Why are ye now turned back? And they said unto him, There came a man up to meet us, and said unto us, Go, turn again unto the king that sent you, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Is it not because there is not a God in Israel that thou saidest to inquire of Beelzebub, the God of Ekron? Therefore thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thy, thou art gone up, but shall surely die. And he said unto them, now he is inquiring, and he said unto them, what manner of man was he? So he wants to find out about this person, which came up to meet you and told you these words. And they answered him. So now, now they give an explanation of this, this person who is Elijah. Elijah. They, they, they explain to him now. They describe Elijah. 
And they answered him, He was an hairy man, and girt with a girdle of leather about, about his loins. And he said, Now he recognized from this description, he recognized, It is Elijah, the Tishbite. So from that, I, I can see he, he know that is the man of God, so we know the, the, the God that this prophet is serving. And so therefore the, the God of Elijah was insulted by them passing him by. Verse number 9. Then, now we, we can see in the story, because the king, he, he, he first sent people when? To consult of the, the God of Ekron. He first sent them to the God of Ekron. So now he's changing his attention now to Elijah. He's sending messages now to, to Elijah. Because Elijah uh, sent that message to him. So verse number 9 is saying, Then the king sent unto him a what? A captain of 50. What is 50? So what is happening in this story? <laughs> Three days. So 50, 50, 50, Amen. Yes. So he said the he said the what a captain plus fifty. So this is the third what first time it happens three times like you said my sister. Nothing makes sense. So this is one hundred fifty-three. So let us continue. So verse. Then the okay, where was I? Verse number nine. Then the king said, "Send unto him a captain of fifty, with his fifty. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill, and he spoke, spake unto him, Thou man of God, the king has said, Come down. This is almost like a." Command. So what is happening here is that this captain is coming with the authority of, of the king. He is, that is why I, I, I said we have a mandate and, and, and we have the Sabbath. We know who is our captain. We know if we stand in front of the world. You know I have two children. I, 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 find, I find this funny myself so I won't Yeah, when, when my children were born, I was, I was present at both of their births. And although I, 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 I spent the nine months with my wife, walking to the doctors and every, all of those things, still when my children were born, you know, when they, when they came, came into this world, the first thing that I did is I, was, I, I count their fingers and toes. <laughs> I want to see if they have ten fingers. Or, you know, some of the children they were born with twelve fingers and twelve toes. <laughs> but but where am I am I going with this? Any human being on the face of this planet is just the same human being as us. It doesn't matter in which position he or she is. They are exactly the same with two ears and two eyes, one nose and ten fingers. And we can stand in front of anyone in this world. We know from the book of Daniel chapter number 2, he who kneels before God can stand before anyone. Doesn't matter. So this is what happened here. This captain of 50, he came with that arrogance and pride because I am the captain of king, the king. And maybe, and maybe the, the, the king from, maybe the, he was looking for one of those that had a reputation of being Mm. A bad one. A bad one. Mm. To send to Elijah, maybe to go and scare Elijah or something like that. Mm. But when, so he came to Elijah with that arrogance. And therefore Elijah, maybe, maybe in his own eyes, he, uh, uh, his king was like exalted in his own eyes. Mm. But in the eyes of Elijah, he was nothing. Because Elijah don't stand under the authority of that king. Mm -hmm. Elijah has a king that is greater. Mm -hmm. Elijah don't get orders from this king. Yeah. Elijah already got his orders from heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is where this 
flesh is coming in. Therefore, even when, even when he comes to Elijah, even though he calls him man of God, come down here. Even though he calls him man of God, it's like almost like, oh, let me not, not uh, uh, go off the point. Although he comes to Elijah, even though we acknowledge him, they, 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 he don't know who he is dealing with. He, he, he don't know this God who they are dealing with. Because maybe they, maybe they are used to talk like that to the, to the, to the servants of the God of Ekron. Maybe they are used to that. Go to the God of Ekron and just speak to that people the way they wish. And those people were intimidated with it. But no, not, not this king. No, no, no. Therefore, when, therefore, Elijah answered in this way. Verse number 10. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, because he recognized him as a man of God. Now Elijah wants to show him. He's, he's telling him, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his perfect. So what happened to this first? He was consumed. Hmm. By? Fire. By fire. Okay. Verse number 12, 11. And again, again also he sent unto him another captain of fifty with his fifty, and he answered and said unto him, O man of God, this one comes with that same arrogance. O man of God, thus hath the king said, Come down quickly. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty, and the fire of who? And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his worship. So the same thing happened with the second, mm. with the second captain. Mm. Mm. Then number verse number thirteen, and he sent again the captain of the third fifty and with his fifty, and the third captain of fifty went up and came and fell on his knees. Yes before Elijah and besought him and said unto him, O man of God, I, I pray thee, let my, let my life, so he's praying for what? That his life be, amen, amen, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. He acknowledged, behold, there came fire down from heaven and burnt up the two captains of the former fifties with their fifties. Therefore, let my life now be precious in thy sight. And the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah, Go down with him, be not afraid of him. And he arose and went down with him unto the king. So what happened with the third fifty? Is that life what? Why? Their character changed. So they were spared because there was a change in character. In their character. Sure. Okay. So so let's just have a look at this change in their character. This fire that came down from heaven. We saw that it was God's fire. Mm. So although it seemed from what we are reading that he's, he begged Elijah, but he was actually begging God mm. to spare their life. Mm. Because even though if Elijah wanted to, if God wanted to set fire, he, even Elijah won't be able to yes. stop that. Mm. So who is sparing their life? Oh. Oh. Because he, was, he wasn't pride and arrogant, he became humble. Mm. And he begged, he went, he's humble, he went on his knees. Sure. Um, Sister Rose, please read for me in Revelation chapter 12, verse number 4. Revelation 12, verse 4. Verse number 4. 
Before you read Sister Rose, can I just say one thing? From what we are seeing here, family, from, from what we are seeing here, if from all of these people, because these three groups that were sent, we can, what we take from here is that one third, mm. are you with me? Mm. One third's life was spared, spare, and two thirds, what happened to two thirds? Two thirds were destroyed. destroyed. So one third was spared. Mm -hmm. Revelation 12 verse 4 says, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and they cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. What did he do with his tail? The part of the stars of the angels. One third. <laughs> One third of the stars, yeah. one third of the stars of heaven. So, my family, I'm going to draw our attention to something else now. Let's go to heaven. Mm. Let's say this is heaven. So, from all of the angels, okay, we know in, in heaven we should be with angels. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, how many, if, if one, one third came with Satan, how many is it to be Two thirds. Okay, so, so in heaven, there is still two thirds of the angels. And then on earth, that one third came down with, with Lucifer. Yeah. I will, do you agree? Yes. yes. Angels or demons, eh? Says the name. She said demons. Okay. Okay. So so Lucifer was one third, but he still for one third. Let's go to Isaiah chapter number nine to see what is the tale. Mm. Let us just go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter number 9. Um, is everyone there? Please let's read from verse number 14. Therefore, the Lord will, what will he do? Cut off. This, this is what happened for this two thirds here. But let's just keep this in the back of our mind. Therefore, the Lord will cut off from Israel. Head and tail. Mm -hmm. Verse number 15 is saying, The ancient and honorable, he is the head and the prophet mm -hmm. that teacheth lies. He is the tail. Mm -hmm. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, mm -hmm. and they that are led of them are the destroyed. Destroyed, mm -hmm. destroyed is the same as. Has cut off. Everyone that is drawn by the tail mm. is going to be cut off. Mm. So here we can see, apart from that one less, we know about the third of, 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 of the demons, but this is speaking about on earth. There are some, everyone that is drawn by the tail are going to be cut off. And now we can see here what is the tail. What is the tail? Lies. Lies. Being deceived. Being deceived. And I would like to add, apart from just, just being deceived, being drawn by the tail is everything that we place in the place of the word of God. If we are drawn by our feelings, our own feelings, our mind, our emotions, what happened with, with, with Esau when he was hungry, what did he do? So his birthright, although he, he was led by what? Stomach. By stomach. That is being led by the tail. <coughs> Everyone that is. So, so what does that say? This brings to new life the, 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 that word that says, men shall lo not love by bread alone, but from every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Other than that, we are being led by the tail. Mm. If there is not a thus saith the Lord for every action that we 
that we do. Thus saith the Lord. Please let's turn to Zechariah chapter number 13. Are you with me so far? My family? Zechariah number 13. Um, can I read? Verse number 2. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will, I will do what? I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land, and they shall be no more remembered. And also will I cause the prophets and the unclean spirits to pass out of the land. Verse number 8. And it shall come to pass, that in all the land, saith the Lord. What? What will come to pass? Two thirds. Two thirds shall be cut off. But the, but the one third shall be left there. So, but now, now God is, because we, we saw that the, the story of the place, now it is we. We are focusing on earth now. Yes. False prophets and everyone that is being deceived by the name is going to be cut off. So what is the what, what is the Lord saying? Because apart from apart from angels, now we are going to on earth we, we have humans. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. So what is the word of God saying in this in this in this in this verse? What is the word saying to us? Two thirds of the humans. Because we are turning our focus now to us. Two thirds are going to be. And this is what we are seeing in this. We have a perfect example for us. Because only one third carried the change. And we are talking about perfection here. One third carried the change. Because we will see now. Yeah, let me read. But, but I just wanted to show you here. So from the humans. Thirds. Sure. We already, we already, yes. we already saw that. Yes. This is just. So the third is the third was lost. The third is being put back. Amen. Yes. This is what is happening. So the third, that, the third, the one third that is going to remain is going to fill that place yes. of the demons that are yes. that came with Satan. Yes. Amen. So we are going back. Please, Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter. Sister Kitchen, please read it to us. Oh, no. Verse 9. And I will bring the third part to rule the fire, and will refine them as silver Amen. is refined, Amen. and will try them as gold is tried. Amen. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people. And they shall say, The Lord is my God. Amen. Amen. So, so, what is going to happen with the two, two thirds are going to be cut off. We know who they are. One third is going to remain, from what my sister just read to us. One third is going. Two parts shall be cut off. They shall be cut off and die. You don't need to be to wonder what does cut off mean. They will be cut off and they will be cut off and die. Like those students, because they died. They end were ashes. Like, like David saw there in the in the in the sanctuary. When his feet wanted to slip. He saw that what is left of the uh, 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 of the unrighteous? Ash. Only ash. So where are we going to family? Our God is a consuming fire and is on his way. So the one third we are going to be put into the fire. Mm -hmm. So there's two fires. It's either this fire is going to wash us so we can look like Christ. Otherwise, the, the second fire that are coming, we're not going to stand it. So the only way to stand the fire when, 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 when Christ returns is to go through this fire. 
So I will bring the third path through the fire and will read. That is the purpose of this fire. So this fire is better than the fire of Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> is it not? Nebuchadnezzar, he, he, he tried to burn them to do. Yeah, because we know. Amen. And we'll refine them as silver is refined. My sister, you're going to be refined. <laughs> but you're going to look good. <laughs> you're going to look good if you come out of that fire. My brother. As silver is refined. And we'll try them as gold is like. I think it will do us good to just go and download or just have a look at how gold is refined. I think it will do us good just to have a better picture of what God is doing to us. And, and that might even help us to appreciate, it, to appreciate it more, all of the difficulties and stuff that we are going through. Thank you, Lord. But the best of all, then they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say, The Lord is my God. Please let us turn to Ephesians. We've been reading many times from Ephesians with our brother. Chapter number one. Ephesians chapter number one. Um, verse number four is saying, According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, be holy without Amen. before him. Verse, verse number seven is saying, In whom, talking about Jesus Christ. It is so beautiful, like, like my brother said. Uh, even if it was just one person, he would still be willing to come and die. So, in him, in this beautiful Christ, in whom we have redemption, this is what we have been learning throughout this course, in Christ in whom we have redemption through his blood, this is so beautiful, the forgiveness of sins, like that song said that we were singing, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he had abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us. He's been doing this for the past two months, been making known unto us, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure which he had purposed in himself. So everything that we went through the past two months, it was in his purpose. Which he has purposed in himself, that in this is where our attention is going. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are in heaven. One for the three. So, so, so Christ is doing all of this with a purpose to, 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 to join together two thirds of heaven, one third on earth. That's going to be changed. The character is going to change, and that's going through that fire. So the purpose is to join earth. In heaven, Amen. together under who? Christ. Who is Christ? Let's see who is Christ. Before we, before we see who is Christ, before we turn away, please let's just read there by verse number 13 also. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your. What is this gospel called? The gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. 
So this is called the gospel of your salvation. Heaven and earth is going to be united under, under one head. Who is Christ? Please, can someone read Isaiah? Chapter is number 3. Can someone please read? Mm. Isaiah chapter number 3 from verse number 1 to verse number 3. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah mm. the stay and the staff, the whole day of work. Wait, sorry, sorry, my sister, it is the wrong verse. I, please forgive me. Mm. Hebrews number 2. Oh. Sorry, my sister. Hebrews number 2, the verse is number 10. Hebrews 2.10? Hebrews 2, yes, please, Mr. Peter. For it became him, for whom all are all things, and by whom are all things, mm. and bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain mm. of their salvation perfect. Through Family, who is the captain? Who is he? The captain of our salvation. Captain of our salvation. So we are being united under the same captain. Because, because heaven already are standing on the, under this captain. So now we are also joined. So when we are joined uh, together with heaven, Christ is our Christ, then we represent. Then we represent this 50. Sure. Together with heaven, a complete number. Then we represent this 50 with Christ our captain. So Christ like, Christ like to be our captain. So this brings the door. So who is this other captain? The devil. Amen. So because we know that he is he is he is counterfeiting or trying at least. Everything that Christ is doing, he's also trying to do the same. So if Christ is the true captain over the 50, he also wants to be the captain over 50. Sure. Um, please let us Turn our Bibles to Matthew uh, chapter 13. We are almost finished. Matthew, I said chapter 13, verse 47 and 48. Can I ask Brother Gavin Lee to read for us too? Amen. Forty-seven and forty-eight, Matthew thirteen. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was caused into the sea <laughs> and gathered of every kind. For the eight, which when it was full, they grew to shore, and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but caused the bad away. Then for the matter of this. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angel shall come forth and sever the wicked from amongst the just. Amen. Amen. So where, where did we first read about Satan? Is when we saw that with one third, with, with his tail, he drew yes. one third. This is where we, 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 we first came into contact with Satan. And now, from what we are reading here, the kingdom of heaven, because we started with this, uh, a story where Christ came to meet his disciples on the shore mm. and they called this 153 fish. Mm. So now his kingdom mm. is like unto a net mm. Mm. that was cast into the sea mm. and gathered mm. of every time. How many fish were caught? 153. Listen here. It called, it gathered of every kind. The love and the mercy of Christ can be seen in this. Although there are some that are going to be thrown away, mm. he tried to catch everyone. Oh. Be 
because there is place for everyone. He loved, he, he loved, it is not, it is not if he knew that hundred, maybe uh, uh, one third is going to be saved. Why didn't he just go and catch one third? Mm. He caught everyone. Mm. His love is available to everyone. Yes, but now, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, now they are only being separated. When it was full, they drew to the shore, sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. Mm -hmm. So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and serve the wicked from among the just. So our, so our lost kingdom is like the fisherman that goes out to so what is he doing? He is he is he is catching to save life. Mm -hmm. The opposite of our adversary, he is walking around like a roaring lion to do what? <laughs> to devour. So Satan Satan catch to kill. Jesus catch to save. Mm -hmm. Please let us turn to Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 4. Exodus 24 verse 17. Mm. Mm. 
So my family, it is clear that our God is a consuming fire. Mm. And he is on his way. Mm. Yes. He's a consuming fire and he is on his way. From, from where Sister Rose read Revelation 12, it was verse number 4. Mm. You said the dragon drove his tail. So there we found him as a, as a dragon. And in, 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 in Genesis, we find him as a, as a serpent. Serpent, Revelation 12, dragon. And then from there, if we follow him, Revelation 12, first beast out of the sea. Is what? Huh? Revelation 13, first beast out of the sea. It is still, it is still, it is still, it is still his, 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 his ways of working that we are following. Serpent, dragon, the first beast, the papacy. Second beast, looks like a lamb with the, with the, with the two horns speaking like that. Who is that? USA. USA. So in the USA, so in the USA, how many states do we have in the USA? 51. 51. Fifty. So Satan is is trying to be a captain. <laughs> Satan, is, Satan is trying. Satan is trying to be the captain over over fifty. You've been following right? Serpent, dragon, first beast, second beast. 50 states, we can show. Maybe it is a coincidence, maybe not. I'm not putting, I'm not saying you could be <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Might be a coincidence, but we can we can take from it what 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 God is pressing on our hearts. I'm going to I'm going to, to end this off here. If we go through the fire, my friend, nice. the thing that must 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 happen in the fire, his self must die. Yes, Lord. There is no other story. The fire is coming because self must die. Self must die. Self must die. When when I came here, I from my own from my own experience after I left my job. This is really God is God is good. There's a lot of encouragement for us. But we need to we need to make that we need to take a first step in faith. We need to take a step in faith. We need to, we need to trust God. So I've been in a I've been in a lot of uh, trials before I got here. But through everything that I went through to, through this past year, since I have uh, cast my head on the right side, God, God has really been, been, been uh, a blessing in my life. Um, Brother Howard and his wife that are sitting there, they are, they are evidence to, uh, to that. Um, there's such a lot of things that happen. Even me just being here without any money, mm. I didn't pay one cent to be here. Mm. I, I, I really need to honor God for that. Mm. Um, I, I have been really blessed to meet each and every one that is here. Mm. Blessed and, and, and privileged. And I have truly learned a lot. Mm. And for that I am grateful and really honoring God for that. Mm. So when I, when I got here, because of the things, a lot of things, some of the things wasn't. I, I, I had a job that I, I got a reasonable salary, about 40,000 rand a month after deductions. And, and I took this step of faith, I took it when I walked out of that gate, I'm not receiving one cent salary. And, 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 and I made that move while still having, I, I have my own family that I am taking care of. Because I was the breadwinner now in three houses, as well as my parents' house and my wife's parents, because both of the fathers died. So, but God has been, God has been really good. Mm. God has been good. Mm. Although I didn't, because sometimes, sometimes I, I do think that maybe I could have still worked for this year 
because I, I don't feel that I have achieved a lot. I could have still worked, I could have uh, still do this and this and this for preparation sake. But, 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 but in my spiritual life, if you take that step to walk out with God, it, it just felt like a stone that was just <laughs> rolled off my back. Wow. I, and, 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 and it was really, it was a blessing to be there. Mm. Wonderful atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Every now and then just to see someone maybe, If I can sit here and I just see someone there, maybe Sister Kaysel or Sister Natasha, whoever, here yeah, in, the, in, the, in the outdoors, just pray, then I just know that, 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 that you can just stand here and just look and know what, what, what experience they are having there. Because they are talking, we are not these people that are deceived, worshipping the plants and the animals, they are worshipping the God of God. So it has been a real blessing, my family. All of that said and done. I hope you enjoyed my study. Don't mind. Um, our Lord's study. Um, can I ask someone, Brother Ryan, maybe, just to close up for us?